One of the issues we had uh, with restoring the HMAS success was the bow guns were um, missing. Uh, now we, want, we weren't sure initially what they were but this photo coming up, this one shows the test firing on HMAS success, shows that it's a Beaufort and I was up at the Victorian Maritime Centre at Crib Point and they have a Beaufort and you can see it's quite detailed and I was a bit worried about recreating it so I went to see, I contacted my mate Bob from Newcastle Marine Modelers Association and uh, he's a 3D printer and I, I asked Bob, I said, can you print me a couple of guns? Uh, one of our modelers was actually uh, doing the Cessnock and so he asked me to help him uh, 3D print a, um, a Bofa and so we went up to Cessnock and in the park at Cessnock is this very gun and so we took all the measurements lots of photos and came back and produced this so I'm assuming this will be the same bow for that was on HMAS success okay and this is obviously a 120 one in 20 scale yes so originally it was drawn up at 1 to 32 beautifully made and these will um be go will be going on the HMS HMAS success. So just explain to us, Bob, like the uh, process that you go through to um, Well, basically, um, with any 3D modelling, um, it's just basically producing shapes. So let me show you a, um, how it all works. So essentially, you start off and you do what you call create a sketch. Um, the system has a number of different shapes uh, predetermined so there's a rectangle for instance and then if you want to give that depth you just go into extrude and there we have a little block so that's how the whole process starts and then it's from that you can actually um, make it do um, all sorts of different things. Okay, so in the in the process of the bow four, so you started off with a one thirty two drawing, and then you've scaled it up to a one twenty for the success. I didn't start with any drawings at all. No. I went over. I went out to Cessnock. Here's one photo. Well, I took uh, something like sixty photos of all different parts of it, um, and I took dimensions physical dimensions off this. Okay. I drew a 132 scale version of this. Then I just simply scaled it up. I think it's about um, 1.6 times. And then we got to that um, to the drawing that's on here. So that's so the that's, drawing. So that's so that's 120. basically that's all, that's all the bits for the gun. That's all the bits for the gun. So they were printed off mm -hmm. um, and assembled. To make the gun that you see yeah. there, including things like the detail on it, you know that little motor that goes underneath. Um, there's a little hydraulic uh, ram that sits in here. Um, yeah, it's all it's all been done that way. But um, but again, this is probably a little bit more robust than you would do if you were looking towards just producing a, a model. Uh, to go in a museum because if it's behind glass you can make things a lot finer but uh, all these parts are a little bit more robust because it's actually meant for a, a model that's going to be uh, be used. So basically what happens is that the, the printer prints on a board like this and this is called a perf board and so basically the, the print prints there and it slowly builds it up and at the end of the print you take this out and get the print off it. And it's it's piece by piece? So it's I do it piece by piece because then that becomes a little more accurate, um, okay. lot, so lot, a bit less, a bit more forgiving and you can put a little bit more detail in it that way um, but that's the way I prefer to do it. Okay. And so basically the, uh, the print goes 
down through a nozzle. Um, I should. It's interesting to see how you can actually uh, go from asking someone to do something and actually being creative. So there's something especially as uh, yeah. as well as as you know. You can do some pretty amazing things. So the bofas are in and painted, and boy, do they look good. They look very, very good. Really just, just, just pops. So these are 3D printed, they're all painted up. They've just got to be glued in, and um, that just, just adds, it's, it's just spectacular. Rollers, this roller 